Mr. Speaker, Wall Street firms have refused to do business with Anbong Insurance over the murky ownership structure of this Chinese conglomerate, and yet these Liberals are hell-bent on pandering to their friends in Beijing. The Chinese conglomerate, do dominated by a who's who of the Chinese Communist Party, should raise red flags. It certainly has among Wall Street firms. So it begs the question, Mr. Speaker, how did we get to a place where the wolves of Wall Street have more integrity than this Liberal government? <laughs> Honourable Minister of Economic Development. Mr. Speaker, again, I find it ironic that the members opposite are opposing global investment. I think it's great that people want to invest in Canada. I think it's a tremendous opportunity for our economy where we see additional resources come in and create jobs and growth and opportunities for future generations. This transaction was reviewed under the Investment Canada Act. We looked at the overall net economic benefit and we made that determination because, again, there's additional resources for retirement concepts, which is good for the economy, good for the seniors, and obviously good for British Columbians as well, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Member.